This is Monster Hunter Try from Capcom for the Nintendo Wii. What's the only thing better than palling around and making friends with a bunch of monsters? Hunting those bitches down and eating them. Mmm, you can carve a couple steaks out of that guy. They're good. Rub in some Montreal steak seasoning. They're gamey. They taste like a cross between venison and frog. Monster. Everything tastes better when it tries to eat you before you eat it. Show that steak who's boss. In Monster Hunter Try, no question, this is one of the best games on the Nintendo Wii. It looks and feels almost exactly like a PlayStation 2 game, which is a compliment. And no surprise, seeing as how Capcom's Monster Hunter series started out on the PlayStation 2. I started out creating a guy, but all of the outfits looked like girls' clothing, like he was going to the gym. So I just decided to create a girl. I was going to name her Vectrexia, but there weren't enough letters, so she's named Vextrex. And it turns out the outfit at the beginning doesn't matter anyway, because you just buy armor. The real kick in the pants is that Vextrex cannot hunt monsters on the Vectrex. That's my only complaint with this game. Capcom, if you're listening, this does not have a Vectrex release. Just think of the overlay. Monster Hunter, try, colorful, awesome. This is a Nintendo Wii exclusive and really a terrific game all around. It's a giant action-adventure role-playing game with multiplayer, an in-depth single-player campaign, lots to do. This game is just enormous. And most importantly, it's fun. Sometimes RPGs can be a bit more about just killing time or some or going through some deep plot or you know, like I'm stuck in the fade for 12 hours. As much as I enjoy adventure RPGs, this is not a Lord of the Rings or Final Fantasy knockoff. It has its own thing, and that's cool. I don't know that Monster Hunter Try is technically an RPG, but in some ways it feels like it. You go off on quests or missions, slay monsters, or collect things, and in the process you're saving a village, bringing it back to life. What's, what's impressive about Monster Hunter Try is that given the size of the game and the number of missions, it just doesn't get boring. On the other hand, it's not a quick pick up and play game either. This is one that takes some time. And it will take several hours before you even get into the game. It sends you off on some initial missions just to give you the feel for the gameplay. Like a tutorial, your first couple missions are pretty boring, like you're collecting mushrooms. And I hate mushrooms. I don't even like them on pizza. But then you get to the good stuff where you're slaying monsters and ripping out their intestines and bringing them back to town to make kids happy. You are the textbook definition of a hunter-gatherer in this game. You're not only hunting monsters, but you're also gathering things from the environment around you. You mine ore, you collect mushrooms and herbs and bugs, and you can mix and match things and create all kinds of stuff, including new weapons, and you can upgrade your weapons. There's swords, there's spears, and the bow gun, which is what I'm using most of the time, because it feels like a machine gun. There's a variety of people in town to talk to, numerous trading options, and there's just so much in Monster Hunter Try to keep you busy. If you're looking for one game, like one action adventure game to play for a long time, look no further than this one. As you play through Monster Hunter Try, the missions obviously become more challenging and you open up new environments, which are fairly large, but they're compartmentalized. You can see the map on the top right of the screen. You run to the end of the environment and there, there's a short loading screen and then it puts you into the next part. The next section of uh, whatever land you're in. So it's not a totally open world game, but it does feel like you're going somewhere. As I'm running through the desert level and some of these screens, the character is actually losing health because it's so damned hot. There's tons of items that you can take with you. And I thought it was cool that you killed monsters and just threw them on a barbecue in the field to regain some of your stamina. I guess it is a bit odd at times when you're standing in the monster as you're cutting it open. 
But that's just how badass you are. This game is badass. It really is. And you don't have to apply for any stupid license. You just go out and hunt. As if there's not enough to keep you busy in the single player campaign, which is crazy because there's more than enough to keep you busy, they even give you multiplayer. But wait, there's more. And we're watching it here. See? These aren't the monster hunters you're looking for. I like the sense of the open world community they give you here at the initial cutscene. Selecting servers and games works fairly well. The online is pretty slick and you earn a monster hunter rank as you play. You can go on quests with other people, real human beings, fight in the arena, and spend additional time enjoying Monster Hunter Try. This is one game where they definitely do not shortchange you. Monster Hunter Try is worth every penny if you enjoy this kind of game. Watch my review of the Wii Classic Controller Pro to see that controller in action. I recommend it for use in this game, but if you don't have a Classic Controller, the Wii Nunchuck and regular controller will also work. Monster Hunter Try. Try it now.